Hello, this is Joe from Barnacle Bills, and today we'll be explaining a throttle position sensor that is found on all Everroot E-Tax. Okay, the engine that we're working on is a 2008 90 horsepower Everroot e -Tech. I've already removed the front air box cover off of the engine. The TPS sender sits atop of our intake manifold. And inside the TPS there is a throttle lever that moves along with our throttle plates. The throttle position sensor or TPS sensor is found on every Evinroot E-Tech from the 15 horsepower up to the 300. It's a three wire sensor that connects to the throttle plate shaft up at the top. It's a three wire sensor. It receives a voltage signal from the EMM on the one wire. As the throttle is advanced or brought back, there's a throttle lever that sits inside the sensor. When that's rotated, the EMM receives a return signal through the second wire. The third wire is a ground wire that, that provides a ground back to the EMM. Okay. The throttle lever is found inside of the TPS sender. We want to pretend the screwdriver is our throttle shaft and you can see that's what operates the voltage signal in the TPS. With our throttle position sensor back installed on the engine we are going to go through the setup of it. Uh, first thing that's critical with setting the throttle position sensor is our throttle cable. The throttle cable, you want to grab a hold of the cable and you should have hardly any play back and forth play. Anything over a quarter inch play, I don't even like to see anywhere near that, means that your cable needs to be replaced or rerouted. Just because a cable is brand new does not mean that we won't have a lot of slop. A lot of boat builders or someone that doesn't know what they're doing rigging, they'll buy a control cable that's too long and they'll think they'll just coil it up on the inside of the boat you watch for every coil that we do to a cable it's going to add slop as you can see this one here now that's close to 3 8 play in this cable and it's just from putting them two wraps in there if we take them wraps back out and as you can see now with the right bend we're back to very little play so having the proper length control cable is very critical. Okay, we've installed our throttle cable. A throttle cable that is installed and set properly will have a air gap between our cam pickup and our cam roller. You guys see that can spin nice and freely. And now you want to grab a hold of this and you want to try to move this back and forth. You should not be able to move it. If there was play in this cable, you would be able to take this lever and move it back and forth which could cause it to move this slightly so by having no slop in our cable everything's nice and tight and that does not hit the roller no matter how hard we try and move this. Do not There's a lot of talk on how to set your TPS calibration. Setting your TPS calibration you're going to need your laptop along with the programs and what the calibration does is it's going to tell the EMM the amount of play that's in our system. We're going to keep our finger on our throttle plate to keep it closed. And we're going to move our throttle arm until it makes contact with the throttle plate. Like so. With our program on, we're on our TPS calibration. And we're going to click the set TPS. And now we're going to move the arm back and forth, keeping your finger on the throttle plates. Going to do it two or three times. And that's how you set your throttle position sensor. Okay, that wraps up our throttle position sensor. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at area code 856-785-9455. Or you can visit us online at www.etechownersgroup.com. 
From there you can leave any questions or comments that you may have or any other video that you may want to see in the future. Thank you and we'll see you soon.